Hello, and welcome to Recorded. I'm your host for the week, Gian. On this week's episode, we'll make you laugh, yeah. cry, yeah. scream, yeah. jump. How do we make a jumping sound? Just jump. Jump. Yeah, sure, go ahead. What did the Coke say to the b broken vending machine? I don't know. Give me my quarterback. Ha 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 Um, that does make sense, yeah. I just want the whole world to know that the greatest video game ever is Fallout 4. Does anyone else have the need to share something right now? We have a whole episode that you've written and started, and you're doing this. Yes, but we just want to show the world how amazing we truly are. We can do magic tricks. We can bake things. Do crafts. We can do cool tricks. We can we can sing the Reese's Puff song. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just get on with the show. Let's dance. Reasons like this, we need everything recorded in advance. This week's episode of Recorded starts now. We don't have any bacon in the first place. Let's just use my hand. Uh, now I should go get the pancakes. Whoa! Well, we had another mishap in the kitchen, and Chef One appears like he's dead. So we have to discontinue the show. Goodbye. All right, it's my turn. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you rolled the nine. This is bad news for you. Oh, you landed on his property. Now you have. Uh, oh my gosh. So now much that money. will be all of your money. Oh, Fine. Take no, it. more. I need more money. Fine. Take it. You still have like three or four fives. Then give it to me. Fine. Drink it. I'm going to the bathroom. Goodbye. Well, so organize it. Where's What's going on? Right What's going on? Light. Well, still I still don't have so much money to spend. That's not really important. Maybe I can this buy moment. the ICTV thing. Oh, yeah. It's just Monopoly. Zach, are you okay? Zach, what am I walking on? I think he's dead. Zach, stop being it. He's not responding. Get up. We all know you're, we all know you're faking it. No, I don't, I don't think he's faking it. Come on, get up. Maybe the smell of Monopoly money will wake him. <laughs> Is everybody here? Well, except for Zach, because he's kind of dead. Okay, you're all. I'm gonna check the cameras. Good I'll idea, get Cameron. Get behind the curtains. <laughs> There has to be some footage here. I don't know, maybe it was all the race. There she is on camera. Uh, I'm gonna go check with her. Alright, you do that. Oh, there she is. Oh, hey, what, what's happening in there? I just saw the murderer. Oh my gosh. You know, this is like any other cliche feel of the horror movie when we stay in the building with the killer, except we, we can leave. Why don't we leave? Yeah, but the door's so far away. And you already opened that door like five times. 
And what, you're too lazy to go down one hallway and through a door? No. Yes. Mm. Yes. I knew it. What happened to Cam? Oh my How gosh. How I know? Because, well, I, that would lead me to suspect you as the murderer. No, I'm not. Well, you probably are, considering there's only two of us here and I'm not the murderer. And you're the only one left. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. All evidence leads to the conclusion that you are the murderer. Admit it. No, you are. No, you. Well, I'm not going to wait in here and turn out like Cameron. Goodbye. Whatever. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> It's just a trick for my birthday. Wait, but is Zach alive? Oh, no, he's, no, he's dead. I have no problem with that. But wait, what do I do with the body? Just let it keep composed. <laughs> Not even bury it, just let it stay there? Well, we could, like, call people to bury it, but that always costs so much. But... And we're too lazy to spend money? Yeah, I mean, I was too lazy to even walk to the door. I mean... You should do a squid hat. I bet Spencer has one. He did have a dolphin suit, so he might have a squid hat. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go. Spencer! Ah! What are you doing? Making a beautiful drawing, of course. And you ruined it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, well, I'm still not sorry. Spencer, we were wondering if you had a squid hat. Why would I have a squid hat? Well, you had a dolphin suit, and you have that hat right there. Well, I'll have you know, I made that dolphin suit myself. Thank you very much. Well, where did you get the supplies to make the dolphin suit? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll go get the supplies. Better. Get the squid hat. Go. Oh no, we're screwed! Why? Because it takes for Spencer forever to get things done. I asked him to make a chicken wing sculpture for me months ago, and he still hasn't made that chicken wing sculpture. Wait, you asked Spencer to do stuff for you? Yes! It was either him complaining about how he asked to make a chicken wing sculpture, or my mom complaining the fact that my room smelled of chicken wings all the time. Don't worry, he'll get it done for us. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, who are you? Looking for my lunch. You're selling our supplies. Give me that back! Okay, you can stop practicing now. Okay. Wait, why are we doing this? Do you see a squid mask anywhere? I think not. Give me back my bag! Give me back my dumpster! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Kurt, well, Spencer, looks like we're watching Spencer, Spencer, Spencer and a homeless Spencer, guy fight. Spencer, Spencer. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Sam, why are you 
Why are you rooting for the hobo? Because you are lame, the hobo is so cool. I think you're fighting with a boot. Come on. Take women, you're trash, and don't stop fighting with me. Liar! Everything I ever did made him trash! Today, we watch as the park bullies. What are you Stop stupid their bullies? prey. You. Today, the uncertain the victim goes by the name of Cameron. It's a very sad story. They hunt, and they will soon kill their prey. You're the, you're the real idiot. Stupid hey, there, give me your money. Fire hot. You're not gonna let anybody. anybody. <laughs> He's afraid to go down the slide. <laughs> Oh no, it's a boy. He's stuck. Oh, he's stuck. He's oh, trapped. No. He's. I know. It's oh my God. sad I just watching these people get pushed out of the park in which they have played in for a very long time. Probably since they were younger than they are now. It's very sad watching them be pushed out of something in which they were using, which was supposed to be public domain. But it was simply, these bullies could not allow Wait. them to have their fun. They had to go and push them, look at them walk away in defeat and sadness. They have lost all purpose in life. Look at them, being dragged away, he doesn't even care. Look at him. Look at him! Look at him. Well, yeah, I just feel like this entire gang thing at this park here it just ain't right, man, you know? I just can't really go through my everyday life at this park here, man, without, you know, these gang peoples ruining it, you know? So how do you feel about the presence, increasing presence of gang members here in the park in Reading? Well, I feel very sad about that. <laughs> do you think there's anything you can do about them? Uh, no. So Cameron, I understand that you are one of the various people who were preyed upon by these gang members who have suddenly taken a presence here in the park. How do you feel? Like, what did they do to you specifically? Well, they uh, pushed me down the slide and out the park. That's mainly exactly what they did. Do you think you could do anything about it? Uh, I mean, I think we could retaliate. How would you suggest a way to retaliate against these Bullies. You know, get a large presence, push them out the same way they pushed us out. So, why exactly have you treated the other people in this park so poorly? Well, well, if we didn't do anything to them, then they'd be here with us, and we don't like that. We don't like other people around. Yeah, yeah this is our territory. This is, people should know that. This is Pushing our territory. aside these supposed values which you have given us, which I place no value upon myself. Okay. I would like to ask you, is there anything that happened in your, when you were small, that made you become such a horrible person now that you're a grown person? You are small. How about you answer that? You have more recent memory than me. Now that's true. Mm, no, I just... Uh, like, were you mistreated? No. Oh. So is it just like in your personality to be, yeah. you know? I personally, I, I just hate people. You're around each other all the time. Well, I'm close to him. It's fine, right? I'm strangers. No, I, no, I'm not doing that. You Green realize that I'm you going... two are a burden upon society. Yeah, yeah. We know each other. We were neighbors. We knew each other. Value upon you. Now get out. No. <laughs> See, it's reasons like this I don't like people. All right, you know what? You Maybe we should get you out. out. <laughs> get out. Get out. Get over here, just do bullies. As you can see, you guys, the outcasts you have now retaliated against their bullying hey, yeah. menaces. Hey, hey, hey. You see, they came out with a plan with, to use more advanced weapon air, weapons, such as sticks and water bottles, to drive these menaces out of the park. Yes, I think that this is a grand day for justice, everybody. Yes, 
the true and pure hearted have taken back this park and it is a major victory for all those who love America. And with this I say good night. <laughs>
Where is their headquarters? It's the factory. Where is it? North of Mexico. It shut down. It shut down three years ago. Really? The uh, the thing I have here, which I got from the guy you sold it to, says that the factory is still up and running. Well, well, the person who gave me the pen told you that they shut down three years ago. That's weird. Thank you for um giving me that information. I'm gonna go see for myself. It's a detective! Hi! Right. Can I come in? Yeah, come in, okay. detective. I got a lead on the case. You know the hobo from the alleyway you bought the pen from? Yeah. He's in direct contact with the uh, street address here. The one for the factory, you said? It's yeah. a factory, and I, can, and I just need to go there. Yeah, uh, where is it? Uh, northern Mexico. I'm gonna need a plane ticket, though. Mexico? Well, don't... Fine, I'll write you a check. Thank you. Thank you for your services. I'm already running out of money. from the uh... We're bringing it back. This was the pen you stole? Yeah. All right. Come on. We're bringing you back, shit, too. We're bringing you back. Don't worry, you are. stole your pen. Okay. And here is <laughs> here is the pen. Alright. Let's unmask this evildoer. Tristan! Jesus, he was a salesman all along. What do you want to do with him? Yay, Mimi, Nick! 
Now we're going to teach you how to blow your nose. First what you do, you take a deep, deep breath through your ears, and then you take all the gunk in your nose, move it down through your, through your throat to your mouth, and then you cough it all up in your friend's hair. It works really well, you'd be surprised. Killing him in the process. <laughs> so here's how to avoid a friend you kind of like, uh, oh, unless okay. you don't like that. <laughs> so Maya, do you want to hang out? Correct! Bing, bing, bing. 
Okay, the last one. Oh, wait, who was that? Okay. Well, whatever it is. Okay, ready? Last one. What is the name of this show? The Game Show Show! Correct. I win! Set cook. Today we're going to be making pancake art. We already have the batter, batter. made here and we're going to put, put the inside. batter into each of these bags to make it colorful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it cut. I think. So I've, I don't think either either of us have ever made pancakes before. So this is gonna be a challenge. Oh. Okay, and then here's the milk. We there might we not go. have any yellow after. <laughs> okay, they're done with the blue. There's my sun. No, it's fine with the little holy. I need eye or um the milk. I agree. No, this red. Red. That's what it's called. It's pink because it's pink. not really red. Okay. I don't know oh, no. when. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I'll wait. It's fine. There we go. Okay. I think it's done and ready to flip. I don't know how. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> okay, I need to fix that eventually. Um, oh no, this is a disaster. So next time <laughs> we do the next paint, well, when we do the next paint cake, we're gonna spray it. Yeah. To make sure it doesn't stick like this. <laughs> it's beautiful, okay. Do that. Okay, okay, I need to fix this, because. I think it's done. I'm pretty sure it is. Sounds just... beautiful. Next round, we're going to be making a shooting star because we decided to do more complicated things, but we changed our mind because it's yeah. hard. Okay, I'm going to start with green. Okay. That came out very fast. Okay, that that looks way better than last round. Yeah. Okay, bad idea. Flip. Hey, that was semi-successful. There we go. There we go. This round, you're going to do self-portraits for this round. So, yeah. Go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot this is eyebrows. This huge. I didn't mean to make it that big. We both forgot eyebrows. I don't know how I'm supposed to look this. Can I use two? Sure. Good luck. Okay, don't want to touch that. Um, just like, uh... I tried. It worked. -ish. Oh, so my hair came off. Okay, mine's already done. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take mine off and uh, just do this because it's already ripped to end. Yeah, so here are make my face. the faces. Okay, and yeah, that's the end of the ready, set, cook. Yeah. Um, we're gonna finish making pancakes. Are you tired of having to lean on tables because there is nowhere to sit around? Are you tired of needing to lie on the ground? You may find a chair that you're able to sit in, but it's so boring, your searches will be worthless. But now, you can be happy with these new swivel chairs. They're the best thing since sliced bread. This is so comfortable and soft, and I can even lean back and turn 360 degrees and go really fast. You know, my life was never the same, especially after I got this nice new swivel chair. I always got really sad sitting in those stupid folding chairs. They don't provide lumbar support, and they don't swivel. They don't. You know, I used to be some sort of random hobo. I was leaning on the tables for, you know, sitting, and I had to sit on the ground and all that and lie on the ground. But now the ground is not for me, because I have this swivel chair. We also have a model with of our wheelie chair with adjustable armrests. They ease your arms as much as they do the rest of the body. Warning, side effects of using a wheelie chair may be laziness, depression, questioning of thoughts, uh, joining the United States Army, eating a bunch of bags, watching all 69 seasons of The Stranger Things, um, fighting your friends over who gets the wheelie chair first, dying, potential death, um, killing other people, yeah. And you can get one for only $59.99! Thank you.